I know it's been a while and it's taken me some time to get this done, but uh, I just got the parts watch a couple of days ago for this movement from Joe. So here's what we're going to do. we got to install that spring. we got to install that spring, and there's a plate that goes on top here for this pivot. And at the same time, we have a spring that goes over here. And then we're going to work on the main keyless works for the for the timekeeping. And what I found is I could put a little bit of 8200 underneath that pivot. To put these springs in, you basically put this plate on first. Let's put it on the right side. Proper way. And you're going to slip the spring in underneath it and then it held and then it's held captive um, I tried to tried to do this another way and uh, it didn't work out I tried to put the springs in hold them in place and then put the plate on it didn't work not a good thing then I thought hey why not put the plate on and then slip the springs underneath so that's what I did now we can do it for real in real time what are you gonna do? you're gonna move around on me aren't you? There you go. Drop into place. I'm still, still a little shaky. It's not morning. It's actually afternoon. But it was a tough day. Very tired. It's a Friday. Gallons of coffee today. Good lord. Okay. So we're going to take that spring. And we're going to just shove it in there. Does that make sense? Just shove it in. There it is starting. Let's get some, maybe some beefier tweezers here. And if you notice this little tang, that little tab, that's going to snap into a spot underneath the uh, that plate. In fact, you can feel it. When that goes in, you can feel that snap into place. And then this spring is going to get set like that. Let's get that in the shot right here. We just moved it over so it's engaging that wheel, that pivot. So uh, it takes a lot of the excitement out of installing those springs could because without that plate on there they're gonna go flying you'll you'll get some excitement trust me um, this one looks like let's see let's turn that over that one's gonna be installed like that the in fact you can see where that tang that tab that's exactly where that's gonna line up and it's going to fit right in there and it's going to rest against this lever this one might be a little bit trickier because we have to pull this this one here we have to compress it while it's going in there This might require a finger on there. So let's see if we're getting this in the shot. I'm going to hold on to it somewhat, push on the spring, you can see me pushing on it, and then with my finger. Hmm. Don't know how that's going to work. Maybe that plate's a little tight. Let's loosen that plate just a 
a little bit of a turn. Okay, not so good. Let's come out with that. Start over. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's run that plate in a bit. have it as loose. Come on. Maybe that plate needs to be tightened. Let's do that. So, again, we're going to compress this spring. We're going to compress it here and then drive it in. How do we do that? And at the same time, we don't get it sprung. Let's try this. we got some heavier tweezers here. Okay. Got a piece of dust on that. Are we in the shot? We may not get this in the shot. And there you have it. To make sure that screw is tight. Okay, it appears that spring right there is installed. You can see how that little tang is fitting into that recess. It's nicely set in its recess here. And if I move that lever, you can see the spring actuating, so it is seated. So, I would say that was a success. We got it installed properly. We didn't lose it. We didn't bend it. We didn't drive ourselves crazy trying to get to it. That little hole there on that plate access, so you can oil that jewel when it's ready. There's another one there. We'll be able to oil. Um, come back here to the works you can see everything working there working as it should that is a good sign a major achievement if you ask me let's go ahead and put this guy in this will be a lot easier let's get it in the shot dummy there you go genius there's that spring that's installed we don't have to worry about put tension on that until we get that screw in and if you remember from the disassembly video that screw had a very shallow groove cut into it for the slotted screwdriver very shallow this is a shouldered screw you want to make sure you're not 
pinching that spring underneath the shoulder but it is in fact on the shoulder part does that make sense sure it's clear as mud and we should be able to engage that spring and drive that screw the rest of the way and I'm going to take a quick look here with the loop make sure it's not pinched that it can the spring can move freely and I think if you take um, let's see let's take a blade to that we can move that spring well, maybe we can't. Maybe we did pinch it. Let's do this. We're going to center the spring and then tighten that up. It was, in fact, pinched under that shoulder. A piece of dust. There we go. Okay. Good enough. That uh, that spring moves freely. It's not pinched. Now let's move on to the keyless. Let's test it. How's that looking? Look at that. Everything's working beautifully. Isn't that nice? All those gears and pivots working together. Very nice. So, for here we got to put a gear uh, we probably don't need that gear just yet we are going to lubricate some things now since we're getting down to the to the keyless works on the main part of the watch we're going to put a little um, 8200 on there We have uh, 8200 on this, on that pivot. And we're going to put a smear of 8200 inside there as well. This is pretty much straightforward stuff as far as um, keyless works go. If you've seen any of these videos you know how everything goes together okay we have a pin or pin pin or a post I don't know what you call that let's put a little 82 in there 8200 in here this pin we're gonna drop in first Okay, come on. Come on, genius. No wonder it doesn't fit. I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Put a lot of 8200 80, on that. I probably wasn't even in the shot. That's in here. I should learn the name of these parts, but it's just not, not just not my nature. I'd forget them anyway. We're going on 15, 14 minutes here. Okay. That's looking good. Okay. Next we have the spring that's going to hold that down. I got a little bit of 80, little bit of grease on that. Let's get it in the shot. Here we go. And that is one of these little tiny screws here. Ah, picking up lint everywhere.
Come on. It's a very shit, very tiny screw. There's really not much of a counterbore to work with. You're just you basically got to get that lined up and drop it in. Having a nice little counterbore in there helps. helps line everything up having the shakes doesn't help oh my goodness another piece of lint where's all this lint coming from got to be an easier way to do this holy mac all right, I might have to come out of the shot here. Just because I'm trying to work far away. Okay. Wow, we all right, people. I'm st I'm still with you. Ah, oh, believe it or not. If this gets too long, we'll just make another part of it. Boy, that is a tiny freaking screw. Sheesh. I'm still working on it, believe it or not. I'm not in the other room getting a drink. All that time to get that screw in the bore so I can put a blade on it. Isn't that something? There's no counter bore, so it doesn't just fall in. It's real precise work. Okay. Now. Let's keep this under 20 minutes. I'm going to put a schmear of 8200 right there. Turning this lever over proper, the proper orientation. All right, let's get in the shot. Okay, you can see how that's all nested together right there. That's going to get a schmear of 8200 as well. That'll wick its, wick its way in there. Okay. Spring is next. Are we in the shot? Okay, we are. Just checking. Why do I think that spring doesn't belong there? I don't know why. I'm going to put a finger on that end right there.
Of course that spring belongs there. There it is. Let's get that captured before it takes a dive. This takes two screws. One, two, and a pin right there. We're going to get this in and then we'll start on the next part. Are we in the shot? We are. Okay. You can see when you have like a nice little counter bore, you can drop that screw and it falls right in. Okay. One more spot's going to need some 8200. And that's right here. That's another friction point. That gets some 8200, and we just lean on that, and it snaps into place. How does everything work? It's got a bit much on there. Let's get some of that off. So here's our main keyless works. There is uh, first winding, and then we pull out for setting. Okay, so for now, we're at 22 minutes into this. Let's stop this right now, and we'll get going on the next part.